part. I know it's in John and I also know it's in Psalms. I'm going to get them both. It's Psalms 82 and 6. It reads, I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are sons of the Most High. All right. Ban Yasharala. All right. And then let me get it in, uh, in John chapter 10. All right. In verse 34. All right. I just had it. It popped it up in a, another translation, but I'm about to get it out. All right. All right. This is John 10 and 34. It says, Yahweh shall answer them. Is it not written in your law? I said, meaning Yahweh Bashmah was shot, said, that ye are gods. All right. Then verse 35 reads, uh, yeah, verse 35, if he called them gods unto whom the word of Yahweh came, and the scripture cannot be broken, all right? So, you know what I'm saying? The Israelite man is a god on this earth, all right? Even them wicked ass niggas, all right? They still considered, all right, gods, all right? Can't nobody do what LeBron James do. These other nations, they can't do what LeBron does. They can't do what, uh, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant. All right, uh, we name some other sports uh, athletes. Uh, they can't do what um, Ken Griffey Jr. All right, Barry Bonds. All right, all of these athletes. Uh, Serena Williams. All right, the uh, Naomi uh, Asuka, the, the tennis player uh, woman. All right, who they think is a Japanese woman. Who's a who's an Israelite? All right, her father's a Haitian. All right, so she would be a so-called Levite. All right, not a so-called Levite. She would be a Levite. All right. She ain't no fucking Ammonite. All right. One of you damn incest babies. That's not what she is. All right. And her talent proves that on the tennis court. All right. She's the only one that can even compete with Serena. All right. Now, given Serena is older at this stage in her career and all that, but hey, she still make light work of you other motherfuckers. All right. So. That's letting you know who the Israelites are, the salt of the earth, all right? The Fernando Tatis Juniors, all right? The Manny Machados, all right? The Canelo Alvarez, all right? Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford, all of these are Israelites, all right? They can't no other nation under the sun do what those Jakes do, even though they wicked, all right? And they don't follow y'all by smell shot openly, all right? But it is what it is. I'll just give you an illustration of, all right, the, the gods on this earth. And them women I named, they are not gods. Let me take that back. All right, ain't no such thing as no goddess of Israel. All right, ain't no such thing as no goddess, period. I'm just saying that, that their talent is superior to all the other individuals on this earth, all right? When I use them women, Serena and Naomi, all right, I was just using them, you know what I'm saying, to show that they are better than the other women of their, of the other women nations, all right? It's lucky if uh, I went into a renaissance. Shit, my bad. Let me get back to the scriptures, all right? And that wind is ripping. All right, but nevertheless, the time we in right now, all right, we get ready to come into Jacob's trouble, which in a certain sense of the way, we kind of already are in it. But you know what I'm saying? It ain't really picked up to, you know what I'm saying? It's it's uh, it's full throttle, all right? That pressure ain't really just been put on the way. All right, Esau's going to get ready to put it on. All right, Revelation 12 and 12 tell you that, uh, the devil know that he got a short time, so he's going to come down with great wrath, all right? Creepy Joe, all right? Trippy Joe, let me call him that. He ain't Creepy Joe no more. That nigga Trippy Joe now. Trippy Joe, all right, and already came out and said he trying to get everybody maxed out. All right, before the end of, uh, I mean, before by May the 1st, all right? So with us being being about to be in April, tomorrow, all right, that's, that's like 30 days, 30, 31 days. I how many days in the month of April? All right, that's how many days, all right, he's ready to get his this, this, this shit rolling, all right? And we can't wait for it to happen, all right? Because the sooner that nigga do that, the sooner, all right, you help out some outside, all right, he's going to do what he's going to do, all right? All right. But, yeah. Two thirds of our people, they're gonna be caught off guard by this shit, alright? They're not paying attention to what's going on anyway, alright? A lot of you Jakes haven't received it, but hey, when 
And Esau starts tying that shit into your money. All right, starts tying that shit into your way of life. All right, you're gonna give in to that nigga. All right, because you two thirds don't have a foundation to stand on. All right, you trust in oppression. All right, you trust in, in the American system. All right, the system of Babylon. All right, when you were brought here as a fucking servant, now all of a sudden you think this system is gonna love you and give you some sort of all right uh you know what i'm saying something good all right ain't nothing never good came from this bitch ass place all right let me go to isaiah chapter 30 right quick all right it's isaiah 30 and 1 all right it reads woe to the rebellious children saith the lord yahweh by shimei was shy that take counsel but not of me and that couple with the covering but not of my spirit that they may add sin to sin that walk to go down into egypt and america is spiritual sodom and egypt and have not asked in my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of egypt they trust in america all right this system all right verse three it says therefore shall the strength of pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of egypt your confusion all right so two-thirds of you niggas, Hispanics and Native Americans are terribly, all right, misled and confused right here, all right? I'm going to jump down to verse 12, all right? It say, uh, wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye, tr because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon, therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out of a high wall whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant all right so it's gonna catch you niggas off guard all right the scripture tell you uh the day of the lord coming like a thief in the night all right if you ain't on your watch you're gonna get caught off guard all right and two-thirds of our people they definitely not watching all right they still caught up in their folly all right they're getting ready to go on vacation and shit all right a lot of them are already on vacation all right spring break just just uh passed for a lot of these jakes all right they all in uh different parts of florida all right i'm saying you niggas don't have no clue what's getting ready to come your way all right and the man of the lord are gonna laugh and mock you when it happens all right they're gonna laugh and mock you every, as soon as it gets ready to happen i mean soon as it happens and we get wind of it gonna mock the shit out of you all right because you should have knew better all right you should have listened all right man of the lord all right oh, that wind is making my mouth go dry hell it's like it all right so let me go continue on go to isaiah 31 now all right in verse one it says woe to them that go down to egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because there are many and in horsemen because they are strong Flocky, like did I say that right? Oh, Flocky like Wind is blowing in my face, give me one second I Alright, let me read that again, it's Isaiah 31 and 1 It say, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong but they look not unto the holy one of israel neither seek the lord you how about see me i was shy all right that's what two-thirds of our people doing all right they not already voted for these damn devils all right they not already set these uh this, this, this damn devil over them all right they've always done this shit all right Back, uh, and this is how you know we in that adulterous generation of old, all right? Because when your house shot was uh, when when, when your house shot was put in front of in front of Israel, all right, the two thirds said, "Let his blood be on us and our children," all right. They didn't want your house shot; they wanted uh, Barabbas, all right. And it's the same thing today. They said we have no. We, they, they they said then we have no king but Caesar, all right. They bowed. They needed Esau then. They bowed. They needed Esau today. All right, same spirits. 